there do-it-yourselfers this is the DIY diva with a new tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these fabulous fancy schmancy feather pens it's really easy and it costs uh, maybe five dollars to make a pack of ten so what you're going to need is some fat tape it can be either transparent or uh, semi-transparent you'll need a pen wrapping paper or wallpaper uh, this is actually wallpaper because there's uh, a peel off side scissors and of course feathers so what you want to first do is take off the cap of your pen lay your pen down and measure yourself um, some of the wallpaper wrapping paper you want to wrap your pen around it once and then a half times and then you mark where you want it cut there you are take the rest and put it on the side now you're going to take some feathers um, I got this pack of black feathers from a local dollar store you can get it from a craft store as well. They're not too expensive if you know where to look. I'm going to use about five feathers on this pen. I used five feathers for this one. You can use more. You can. I wouldn't recommend using less, but if you don't have many, then that's your choice. I like taking three long plumes and then a couple of shorter ones, but don't use any really small baby plumes try to use longer ones because these ones will just barely peek out these ones you can use for the earring tutorial that I've posted last so I'm going to take five plumes five five plumes right here um, this is quite difficult because I'm juggling a web camera that's attached to my clothing but uh, hopefully you get the gist of it so you're going to take your tape, take a small piece, you're going to lay it flat, hold it down, and put your three longest feathers, one, just stick them tip side down, like so, one, two, three, Take your pen and on the back of the pen simply roll them on. Like that. And now in the gaps, as you can see there's a gap on this side and this side, you're going to put your other plumes and just take a piece of tape to tape them down. Can I use this one here? Requires a steady hand. And some patience. And then you also take a tiny piece of tape. And underneath this, see there's a little stick out there. You put and you kind of stretch the tape a little bit, pulling it taut so that you don't have that ridge there it's just flat see there's no ridge now okay now you're going to take your uh, designed paper and you're going to unpeel it if it's peeled if not then you'll simply put uh, either double-sided tape or single-sided tape and tape like so roll and tape again Otherwise, I suggest you put double-sided tape along the whole part of this and slowly peel off like I'm peeling off now. And you would peel off half of it. The side that's the cleanest edge is the side that you're going to use last. So I'm going to use this side first. And I'm going to peel it. 
Why so? And then I'm only peeling half, so I'm going to fold back just the backing paper on half of it so I know where I am. Now I'm going to take my pen and lay it so that this part of the pen matches up with that as well as having this part covered. So you're going to have to have a steady hand and lay it down. See, I've, I'm good, I'm on it. I'm more concerned about covering the tape, but uh, you want it also to go straight when you're laying. Then you just gently smooth it. Oops, that's happened twice now. Make sure there's no wrinkles. Pull the other half of the paper away. And around you wrap. And if you want to, if you don't end up covering all the tape, you can just smooth your feathers down and I hope and people won't really notice. You could take another piece of uh, paper and wrap it around or you could put a ribbon. It's completely up to you. I just like to leave, I like to push my feathers over it. Simply just fluff them up a little more. No one's gonna really notice. And then you can put your cap back on. If you leave a little bit of space, I've left a little space. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because this is not focusing very well. But there's like a millimeter of space there. So the cap can fit on smoothly. And there you go. Some great pens to have in your office or to give as gifts for friends. Um, or you can tickle your partner with it during boring times or whatever, what have you. Do with them what you will and have a fabulous day.